Welcome to Allie's Way Tarot, and you're watching the Cheese May channel. Psychic medium readings done by Allie. Relax, subscribe, share to your friends. Let the magic begin. Hello, hello, guys, and welcome back to another Twin Flame reading. This is Allie, the Osho Goddess that loves pink and gold. Today, pick your pile intuitively. We got three piles. One is the Flamingo. Then we have Baby. Okay, and for pile three, you guys had two different stickers, so I just pulled it. Maybe it could be a sign. Um, it's a rose, right? Let me get rose right there. And then there's another, um, I think it's a dandelion. But it says, what is yours will find you. Okay, so pick your pile based on color, based on feeling. Close your eyes, take a minute, zen and choose. And um, yeah, I'll be at your pile with you this is an older reading but i found it and i'm gonna re-record it based on the current energies because that's what spirit guided me to do and i never released this reading before so um yeah for those of you who know i did a poll and you said yes you wanted to see it so here we go okay further ado let's get into it pile one Okay, hon, so for 31, it says your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination, and your mind is stirring with the creative ideas and organization and your skills, okay? So you have the ability to do it all. The other card that I pulled today is 888, and that is as you focus on the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy and flow into the areas of your life to create the place of abundance, okay? 888 is a, is a gateway for money and magnetism. So I did pull some romance cards for you and it said that you guys are soulmates. Now we're going to get into some autumn deck for you guys. I feel guided to pull for this particular pile some of my autumn deck which is really exciting but you guys are soulmates and have a past life relationship up on the top first one says caution okay be careful uh, there's harmless intentions though but be careful there could be someone around your connection that's not positive um, and disguise so there's someone that is trying to help you that is not really of the best intention for your relationship have a shield around okay put a shield on your relationship um, there is some meditations that if you need you can always dm me and i'll help you okay abundance you see that right there you have abundance coming to you but there's someone trying to take that limelight from you and also from your twin it could not just be you it's your twin don't forget you're the same soul so what you see is also reflecting in your twin as well could be maybe an ex a karmic a family member but there is someone that is not of the best intentions that's trying to harm you and or your twin flame okay all right um for harmless i feel like for harmless it could talk about your twin flames intentions are harmless and doesn't mean to hurt you even though right now you may be feeling that they do try to purposely hurt you that's so not the intention at all they're just doing them in a way which is selfish but um you know it's it's not meant to disrespect you in any way at all okay but to still be cautious of them if you want to be but you do have abundance coming towards you and i feel like it could be union and also can mean for your money your bag you are definitely going to elevate very very quickly okay all right i also pulled some tarot okay let's get into the tarot we've got the sun we've got the strength we've got the eight of swords and the ten of swords uh, you have death and then you have the knight of wands so your partner is coming back right now he does feel ace of wands ace of swords as well it does feel like it's a new opportunity over here you see the the, the the skies right over there of course so with the this with the sun it's talking about how the intentions are harmless okay but you see the eight of swords and the ten of swords that we just saw previously really quickly that is the disguise between someone it could also be your twin flame looking at it from another perspective that he or she is with a karmic and doesn't want you to know so they could be hiding that little secret admirer that they have because harmless um and ten of like yeah you see ten of swords that i'm bringing right here for you to see a little bit better um that is someone who feels tired and burnt out so your person is harmless but for some of you for other ones of you 
your per- your partner is acting a little bit shady, a little bit sneaky. And for another part of the collective who chose this pile, um, and your person doesn't want to come back to you. Another person wants to, another part of who wants to choose this pile, there is someone out there that is pretty much having the evil eye upon you, okay? Might want to get a Nazar eye for those of you who know about the, the blue eye. Um, but abundance is there because you see that ace of swords that's all about new opportunities and it's, it's all about growth it's all about expansion and change uh, fidelity so your partner is being loyal for some of you strength again you see how we had the strength up there and the strength in my autumn deck so your partner is finding the strength to come forward I feel like some of you who do have the sneaky partner your partner will come out of that f- behavior and find strength because it's a double confirmation to leave that old toxic addiction and pattern behind and move forward into the sun to make that ace of swords that positive beautiful change and energy coming towards you okay all right now let's get into some unspoken words we got i don't know what to do so i do nothing because he's out you see that ace of Hold on a second. I fantasize about how life would be with you. You see that eight of swords for some of you? He's stuck right there, okay? I'm not sure if I deserve the way you love me. That's why he's coming forward and getting that strength, okay? Um, I think of you often and I can still feel you. So some of the masculines in this particular pile knows that they love their feminine. They're just trying to find the strength to come forward because they do feel weak like i said with the the skies it could be that your person also pretends that he or she doesn't know um you or doesn't love you anymore but you saw the back of the deck it says i feel damaged right they do feel damaged uh being away from you but the disguise is real i want to return to you i do i just want things to be different between us when i do so you guys ended on a very nasty note could have been he or she was being fake to you that's why you left there's so many different scenarios in this one particular pile right here it could also be someone has the evil eye upon you and your person's feeling weak and wants to come forward okay but doesn't have the strength because we're brujeria or any type of dark magic the soul does feel weak even though you are twin flames okay also could be that your person is at a very karmic state right now finding someone let's clean this all up but let me talk first while i clean up um yeah it could be that your person is acting karmicky and does have a mask on and does have ill intentions but will find the strength to leave that okay you see what i'm saying uh it's going to resonate (laughs) for some of you and for some of you different let's find what you have to say i see who you are I don't think less of you for any circumstance. I see your heart and I see your soul. So you do love your masculine very much and forgive him. Regardless of gender, okay? Um, it says right here, I don't want to miss I don't want to miss you. I prefer to think of us as one, even if you aren't in the physical with me. So you're very awake and tapped into this connection. You're very aware of who you are. Everyone deserves love, self-respect, and love necessary foundation for a healthy relationship so you're letting your person know that it's okay to come back home and find that strength okay for some of you you know your person is very shy and introverted despite acting very extroverted um the, a lot of masculines are like that i can show you that testify firsthand okay the other card we have here is I have options and opportunities, but I still don't want anyone else. No one else is you. So you do want to have your your person have that ever happily ever after. I totally understand that feminines. I agree with you <laughs> in my life. I This is a deep soul connection. I feel it. So you do feel it. I know that a lot of feminines have a hard time moving on and some do wait. If you feel like you don't want to wait, no one is holding anything to you. You have the right to do so. Personally, I would stick it out because, you know, why would you live in regret? But everyone to his own uh, or to her own, okay? Uh, But this is a connection that definitely has some potential to live very, very far and have a a longevity and have a a happily ever after relationship there's just right now some uh some thorns some tests that you need to go through in order to to heal twin flame journeys are not for everyone they're very hard they're very difficult and you know it's not for the weak even though before you reincarnate you sign up for it 
your flesh isn't really ready to handle something so stressful. It does make you lose a lot of sleep. It does make you stressed out and worried. So, you know, if you need any kind of coaching, you need any kind of help, I'm here. We got the middle of the deck right here that says, I'm not sure what to do or say. And I ran away from myself, not you. All right, you both are saying the same exact thing. I please give me another chance. You do want this connection. I can already feel it. Even though I have re-recorded my entire reading to make it updated and everything, it's still the same energy. And it does happen in the summer solstice right now. And I feel like this is going to go on into Lion's Gate, especially with that 888 that we saw. That's, that's Leo energy. I'm worried about you moving on. Your person does not want you to move on at all. And like I said, it's up to you. Like I even told you so, like... It's up to you. But let's clear this out and we're going to get some more energies on the table. Okay, I have a bunch of stuff still coming. Okay. I'm going to pull some angel cards now. Okay, let's go. Helpful people and within the next few months. I told you Lion's Gate, right? Recovery. Um, <laughs> you need to recover from your broken heart, from your past pain. When you go into Twin Flame Union, whether it be physical and or spiritual, it needs to go spiritual first, then physical. Yes, even the spirits agree. <laughs> um, big happy changes are coming, but you need to forgive and the spirituals to have a union up there first. A year from now is the next card. A year from now, from today, you will be in a happier, better place for some of you, okay? Don't be discouraged if that is not you. You will get your turn eventually every twin flame has like a ticket on a number i don't know if some of you've been to the um markets and you have a number that's what's happening okay let's get initials we've got a b u h <laughs> h h again so um henry harry uh a app i don't know ariel u yusef b right c for cynthia v bernard y for yasmin and that letter was oh wait another z we've got a z right there that's hiding in the corner and that other letter is being stubborn <laughs> i'm gonna pull from the divine feminine deck to get some energy we got sorrow feeling sad and stuck suppression so that's you divine feminine you feel that way you miss your divine masculine uh i i told you i could have really inspiration so get some inspiration and see what you could do to kill the time and separation learn who you are before you get back into union and that's all i have for today but thank you so much hi pal two let's get into your reading okay it's about twin flames first we're going to start off with an angel number and then we're going to get into some messages okay here we go let's go Okay, so number six, your heart is your gift. You are a natural born nurturer, have great talent helping and healing others, and you are epitome of self-sacrifice to love and protection. I'm seeing the alchemist. You are an alchemist pile too, okay? All right, let's get another one. 31, your approach to life is effective mix of both practicality and origin. An originality and imagination i heard originality and your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have organizational skills to manifest life okay so you says i'm disciplined that's your mantra i'm disciplined yeah you're an old soul this pile is an old soul i'm getting even though i know i have recorded it for the purpose of new energy i'm still feeling that okay so some oracle that we got is crossroads move that over for a little bit because it's baby <laughs> you already know it's your pile all right crossroads someone feels stuck right here i'm seeing that uh two of wands kind of energy uh we also have habits but that's in reverse so someone's letting go of their bad habits that's always a good thing right um it could be your person at a crossroads now to change how to change their behavior obedience is in reverse yep how to change their behavior i was right <laughs> it was funny because even though i re-recorded this and i found it while i'm on bed rest it still it resonates okay the next card here that we've got is transformation yes i love that but it was reversed so we're gonna take it reversed so they're stuck in how to transform but really upright is transformation okay <laughs> Um, and the back is originality. Oh, I said originality earlier, right? <laughs> um, yeah, originality. So they're stuck on how to be themselves because I feel like they have a lot of friends that help tell them how to be. 
and um, this also could be you and how to you know you're letting go of your patterns from childhood and who you truly are but yeah okay a love card is it's safe to you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all <laughs> Of oh so yeah we got that energy right there uh we also have engagement oh so your love life is a, is ascending to a higher deeper connection um yeah definitely christmas is coming up soon even though we are in summer that's not too far away you know when july hits everybody gets excited for christmas so look out for one this could be the one you already met your soul partner so um yeah give your relationship a chance it's in the back of the deck literally all right we're gonna clean up and we're gonna get some more oracle okay and yeah but this one right here it says past life relationships so you you know you guys you have a deep soul connection this is clearly your twin flame you had the confirmation um but yeah we're gonna get into some more and see what the energy for today is all about okay okay here we got manifest, so you need to manifest your soul partner back, even though you are one, you want to see the physical change, you got to manifest. You are a warrior, warrior, so you can do this, okay? Uh, warriors, they have strength, they have determination, they're a sacred feminine. Um, yeah, they don't give up. Like, I'm hearing Get Up 10 by Cardi B. Uh, yeah, you should probably listen to that song, Get Up 10. The next card that we have right here, um, hold on. <laughs> I'm wearing so much. Uh, awakening. Okay, next card we have here. After awakening, so after you wake up and you're ready to manifest your life, you have romance. See? It's literally telling you the steps. Manifest, be a warrior, awaken, and you will get your romance. Step by step. I wish it was that easy for my twin flame journey. But you literally got your manual on how to do your journey, okay? Oh, well, that wasn't easy for you. All right, let's see what else we got on the table. Okay, we got burnt out in reverse. So you are uh, letting go of that burnt out feeling and becoming that warrior to manifest your desires, your deepest desires, everything that you envision for yourself. Okay, and I think that's beautiful. Um, there is a, uh, I believe, new moon on the 29th of June because this reading will is obviously released before then so make sure that you write down everything that you have to write down and get all your desires baby self-care also on the new moon you could do that too self-care take some take a rose bath and get yourself aligned feel attractive and magnetic because you can confrontational is something that you're trying to let go of you're trying i feel like you are a little bit more confrontational at times and impatient like I said, but um, you are the divine feminine after all. You know you do run this, <laughs> so uh, there's yeah, there's a karmic partner so involved as well. Like this could also be uh your old have, self. Yeah, <laughs> it could be your family, and your friend, you too, and, and your partner do telepathy one another. So telepathy. I think that's very Currently beautiful that you guys this, are in that alignment. Right? That's but gorgeous. I said I had. Um, keep doing that. Mind, keep listening to manifestations and meditations. So like that's what I'm saying. Uh, there's I want you to thousands do that. on YouTube. Affirm that so your many karmic is no longer that. Um, I actually thought about doing it better. Believe myself, one day when you wake up, your them. karmic will not. Let be me know if you guys would like that. Oh my god, how did this happen? Because you kept changing your words and you're living in the end. So let go of that living partner, and we're gonna clean up and get some more energy. Just like you, I had a karmic. We don't. Okay. So we got, I needed to make a healthy boundary. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I feel like this could be you too, along with your twin. Maybe you said some hurtful words. I see an exchange of hurtful words, especially with the letting go of confrontational. Um, you said that I feel abandoned, right? And life feels so empty without you. You also said that I sometimes regret having told you how I feel. I should have hidden it from you. Um, I don't think you should have hidden your feelings if you ask my opinion. I think that the way you say things can come across a little bit uh, brutal. I will always love you. If you came back, I would give you another chance. So there is, let me tell you, I feel the energy. There is a chance for reconciliation. I have options and opportunities, but I still don't want anyone else. No one else is you. So you do want your person and only your person, and that's great. That's perfectly fine. Um feel free to to pick your person if you want to pick your person it's your life you only live it 
to the best that you can so um yeah i feel like if you are a little bit more easy going with what you say not passive assertive but easy going okay well then it will be less of an argument now we got your divine masculine's words okay he said the first card here is that i dream of you so that's nice to know that he said i dream of you all right let's see what else he said i still want you i'm fighting my feelings so he too is fighting his feelings i dream of you like i said um what else did he say we're in open Okay, our masculine said that I want to return to you. I do. I just want things to be different with us when I do, okay? So he wants to be calmer. Trent, I feel so damaged and judged. Ouch. <laughs> okay. I do miss you. He said that he does miss you, okay? Um, I feel like fear is at the paramount of this relationship and calling is hard for him yeah sorry i do word pauses because i'm a psychic medium and i hear too much um uh, yeah he, he's like he's like scared like i see him erasing emails uh you made me feel something this was confusing yeah because he like i said he, he's erasing emails. like should i should i not it's like a bride with cold feet <laughs> if you ask me um that's what i'm getting well, let's see some more. We're going to get into some um, mirrored messages and, and see what I can pick up from there. I want to contact you, but I'm not sure what to say or how to approach you. Yeah, I said that. I said he was going back and forth. Um, he's like terrified. <laughs> like, like for real, under a cover. I'm afraid if we get too close, he will abandon me. I said it. Yeah, he's afraid of but terrified. Um, I'm not sure he knows how to love a woman too much. I long to be in union with you. If this is for you, you're not sure how to love the opposite partner much. I just want to hold you again. By that, I'm saying like wounds. Like you, maybe your mom or your dad offended you. Okay? I know you are my person. So I feel like he has mother wounds. I'm having fantasies about you. So he does sexually desire you. It's just he's afraid. Like he has mother wounds or you could have father wounds or, or mother wounds. And loving one another is difficult because with your twin, it does ignite and possess these deep-seated fears. That's what it's meant to do, twin flames. And so it's bringing out, like, the fear of you guys in a relationship. Um, but, you know, it'll be fine. It's going to work itself out because you guys have deep love for one another. And I could just tell you here that this is not dead. It's not over at all. Okay, but let's get into some, some angel messages. Um, yeah, for angel messages, we got opportunity. Meditation brings answers. Perfect timing. Uh, wait. So it wants you to wait. Um, some initials here are L, D, O, improving health. We've got another initials V and C. And I, sorry, I should have, when I recorded it at the time, I should have brought the letters closer, but I didn't. Again, this is an older reading, but I just felt the messages were right. Um, it says no, <laughs> no, and yes. So whatever you're asking uh, the first question in your mind is no, but the second question in your mind is yes, okay? I did feel guided to just re-record everything, even though I don't watch it back. I'm just recording the messages back. It was a poll, and everyone said they wanted to hear it back. So, um, take what resonates and leave the rest for a friend, okay? This was in my early part of my career when I didn't know much about technology, so bear with me. <laughs> I'm on bed rest, and this is the reading that resonates this week energy-wise, so I brought it back, okay? But I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye, Pal 2. Hello, hello, Pal 3, and welcome to your reading. This is the rose, okay? And the I think the dandelion or the daisy. What will find you? What is yours will find you? <laughs> We're going to start with some angel uh, numbers, getting some angel messages, get some oracle. And um, yeah, let's get into it, okay? I know it's an older reading, but everyone wanted it, so... We're just going to get into it, and I'm going to re-record the messages for the current energy. First one says, zero, zero, I'm observant. Angels ask for your attention often, so open your eyes and listen and think about everything, okay? Um, it also says for the other card that I'm courageous. Nine, nine, it is time to get to work, a realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life. That is yours, only yours to unleash the true potential, okay? So tap into yourself. 
Okay, let's get into some tarot. We've got the two beautiful pentacles, okay? Look at nine of pentacles, mastering that craft, yes. The temperance is in reverse, okay? And, and that's okay. Temperance is about conquering. Page of wands is also in reverse, so you know you have your moment. Uh, but this changing, the world is coming forward, the two of pentacles. So you do feel like you're out of balance, even though you're very much in balance. Uh, and the, the wheel of fortune is there as well to show you and guide you that you are making beautiful changes with that four of wands. That's home energy. Look at that. That's when you are finally home with your person that you're married and settled down with. You're, I feel like you're overthinking it a little bit. You're in your head quite a lot. Summer stoles, this can be a little confusing for a lot, especially with the temperature and the weather. But you're you're doing well, honey, okay? We got the Queen of Swords, so she's cut, cut and dry. The chariot right there. Um, moving forward, right? Getting past all of those obstacles. Um... Queen of Swords is a very cut energy, so she knows what she wants. So in this connection, it's something that uh, is very meaningful and knows exactly what's happening. Next, we're going to get into some beautiful oracle messages from the Divine Masculine, okay? Overindulgence. We got surrender. So he's trying to surrender, come out of that energy. He wants to seek his worthiness now. He knows that he's worth more, and he's trying. Some of them don't know but they are going to get into that phase we also have the right here suppression okay you see suppression a lot of them are suppressed by that energy of feeling unworthy you have willpower in reverse so with willpower and vulnerable he's crying some of you really need a break like the tears are real okay it's not just the divine masculine it's the divine feminine i know with the summer solstice it can be quite exhausting and both of you guys are very vulnerable okay right here it says feeling the fear of doing it anyway right so you're just you're doing what you got to do to get out of that energy but it is hard okay um it's okay to get a good cry and if you have to cry okay don't be afraid to cry uh right here your next card we have is cloud nine cloud nine being in love with your person chaos again i told you with depression look depression another card all these cards pictures you guys do miss one another and that's okay uh look at your pictures you're looking for clarity you're looking for some type of acknowledgement to know is this connection still alive and i feel it still is twin flames is in reverse you don't f and synchronicities you don't feel like um it's there but the synchronicities are there to show you what i would suggest is that you guys manifest look we got manifest <laughs> i was supposed to say you manifest and um ask the universe for your twin flame as a sign i know i did it and it does work i got this confirmation like over and over sometimes asking in your mind is also a good way too so you would know like for sure the energy is like in your favor but let's clean this up and we're gonna get into some others like romance uh messages okay so the okay let's go we got give love is worth take uh taking so that's make the effort i was going to pull that other deck but i don't know deception i feel like you're afraid your person's gonna deceive you or did in the past but that person that you're with right now or your twin flame is no longer in the energy to deceive you anymore yeah i was gonna pull that oracle for the halloween deck like i did for the other two piles but spirit doesn't want me to so i didn't yeah but i'm sorry what we got right here pay attention to the red flags so when you do feel like your person is back in that energy you have every right to stop that let go of the control issues though okay so don't necessarily stop it up so abrasively and so aggressively you could do that respectfully but reconciliation is definitely coming forward okay so don't have to be stuck in your head about that and this is worth waiting for this is a divine connection okay now we are going to get into some divine feminine masculine and twin flame mirrored energies okay let's go I sometimes regret having told you how I feel about you. I should have hidden my feelings from you. So you do regret being vulnerable, but I don't think you should have been regretful of that. That's your feelings. Okay. The next card we have is some days are easier than others, but I feel like you're still there somewhere. Hmm. Aw. Okay. 
the other card we have is our connection is so intense it's scary but i accepted it rather than fight it well that's good sometimes the masculines do fight it oftentimes they do um all right the back of the deck says i'm losing patience with this i'm ready to move on so now that you know about it you wish that it would be like a soulmate really quick and easy but honey twin flames are a roller coaster there's six flags in real life and it goes up and down and then eventually the ride stops and you do get to that four of wands ten of cups energy after you've gone through your own you know digging of, of childhood pain i think of you often and i still can feel you all right so after you both heal your wounds you will get fully in union and then those cyclone stops okay but i'm not sure it says the card says i'm not sure i deserve the way you love me so right now this is the reason why you're not in union he's still unsure he needs to be 100 percent strong in that solar plexus to come to union i fantasize about how life would be with you okay but he now he's making steps towards that 5d and the 3d so yeah that's good he keeps thinking like that you'll get you the union i felt out of control with my feelings i needed time and space to regroup i didn't mean to hurt you so he doesn't mean to in, um intentionally cause you any pain but a lot of masculines they like to do themselves and live by themselves selfishly and a lot of them don't know that they have twin flames and that it impact, impacts someone's life um i have fantasies about you so you both say the same thing you guys want a little bit uh sexual energy <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't want to see that <laughs> spirit. I can't do this right now. Me either with this, the bedroom. You are no longer. What does it say? You are like no other. <laughs> you are no longer. Uh, yeah, I don't want to see it anymore. Like that's that's intimate. I do sex readings, but you have to pay me for that. And it says I'm sorry for the way that I acted. <laughs> okay. I do love you. So he does love you. You see it says it. I do love you. Um, yeah, this is an intense connection. And I feel like, you know, he didn't know about it. A lot of times people don't know about Twin Flames and how intense it is. Movies make it seem magical, like Lady and the Tramp. But it's much more than that in real life. And so when you do go through that, it's hard. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got. Some and angel power is joining your and power and forces. And you're just we got together. F. We got N, F, right? Z, I mean, F, Z. <laughs> I don't know Z. why I saw N clairvoyantly. F, Z, F and, and F, F okay. and C and Z. A. I'm sorry. A and, and L. L and J. All right. J. I also see that there's a um, an B. H and a P it's and a P. V and an M. M. So, an H. you know, okay. Mary, April, Think Fred, of your Frederick, question. Frederick, I'm going to shuffle. Uh, yes Zadikil. or no. That could be and some initials and some names. And so say. some angel cards we've got right here are, it's up to you if you guys want to make this work, but I feel like you do. Let go. Let go means of holding, chasing, let go, holding onto your partner so intensely for him or her not to breathe. But you will get abundance financially and in union, okay? And this situation will improve. So Spirit's letting you know to let go because guarantee you the situation will improve, Okay. All right, there's something better, meaning that there's something better for you financially. Move that job and have forgiveness. Like I said earlier, you see, I came out in the card. Have forgiveness, okay? When you forgive and when you work through your wounds, union will come. It has to go spiritual in order to be physical. Listen to your intuition. Your twin does send you telepathy signs. I do feel that very, very strongly, okay? Um, but it's up to you, and there will be lots and lots of success for you, okay? Uh, thank you so much. Okay, there's a peaceful resolution coming. Uh, thank you so much for sticking out with me and watching my re-record. Just because it's a re-record doesn't mean that it's not accurate. It's just that the voice was not um, 100% there at the time. But now it's there and I'll be back soon, okay? I'm just resting my legs since I tore my meniscus. But thank you so much, Paul 3. Uh, continue to like, share, subscribe, and tell your friends. It means so much to me. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you for subscribing to Allie's Way Tarot, readings done by Allie. I appreciated you guys and the Chisme on our Chisme channel. Don't forget to click the bell notification on YouTube right here for more content and all readings. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share to my TikTok and Instagram at Allie's Way Tarot, the same way it's spelled on YouTube. For readings, merchandise, Oracle cards and candles, don't forget 
to go to directme slash alizway tarot and shopify for more see you in the next one lavender loves